G'day ladies and gents, and welcome back to War Thunder. With the November anniversary discounts and Christmas spending sprees around the corner, I found it to be a good time to have a look at various premium vehicles. War Thunder has hundreds of premium and limited time event vehicles that have varying degrees of effectiveness, so for this video we'll be covering different categories of premium vehicles, including the best premiums for grinding silver lions, the best premiums for grinding to your first and subsequent jets, the best premiums for having fun, the best premiums for close air support, and the best value for money premiums. If you are in the market to purchase a premium vehicle, you can use my affiliate link in the description below for a 3% discount as well as my in-game decal which supports the channel greatly. Before we begin, it should be noted that depending on your situation, it may be better to purchase premium time instead. If you play often and regularly, premium time and larger volumes of playtime can exceed the value of a single, similarly priced premium, and it's not limited by tech tree. So consider premium time depending on your needs. First off, we have Silver Lion Grinding. If you're looking for a full Silver Lion guide, I have one on the channel already, so go and check that one out. I personally recommend using planes from ranks 2 through to 5, as you will generally be able to have better matches more consistently. I also recommend air battles over ground RB unless of course you have an entire premium lineup. I also prefer recommending fighters as they generally tend to be the meta in War Thunder. My personal favourite and thus top recommendation for Silver Lion grinding is the Japanese F4U1, by extension the Corsair F Mark II. Both planes are extremely easy to fly with very straightforward boom and zoom playstyles pack 650 cals with plenty of ammo and sit at a BR of just 2.7. Personally, these are easily the two strongest premiums for their BR, and I have used and abused the Japanese Corsair personally, farming millions of Silver Lions at a rate of a KD of 5 to 1 and a 69% win rate. Nice. If you enjoy Boom and Zoom, I can easily recommend the XP38G and P38K. Both are relatively straightforward heavy fighters featuring good climb rates with excellent firepower. If turn fighting is more your thing, premium Spitfires, Hurricanes and Zeros should serve you well. Just be mindful that lighter fighters are more fragile. I would recommend that you stay away from the A6M6C, that is the Battle Pass Zero, as it is simply too fat to be really useful. You would be better off going with a plane such as the A7M, which is a very solid and borderline OP pick. If your style is a hybrid of boom and zoom and turn fighting, I can easily recommend the J2M4 Kai, and if you're up for the challenge, the J2M5. The XP55 is also a solid pick, albeit a little expensive, and the XP50 is a solid choice as well. Any premium BF109 F and G is extremely effective as well. The French Yak 3 and Pure Mirski are also very, very solid with excellent performance and good firepower. Whilst I personally recommend that you don't, you could also purchase bombers or attackers to forward your SL grind. The A2D1, the BV238 and JU288C are fairly solid picks along with the Wyvern, IL-2M Avenger, but if you're grinding silver lions, these planes may get stuck with longer queue times due to bomber limits or become fighter food fairly easily. Our next category revolves around grinding out tech trees. If you're looking to unlock a jet at top tier and want something fast to grind it out with, my recommendation is don't. As a newer player, you will find yourself learning an insane number of things every day just by playing at the BR that you're currently at, so to throw you into jet tier is unwise and unfair. It I would first recommend buying a solid tier 4 premium, talismaning a tier 5 jet and going from there. This will allow you to properly learn rudimentary game mechanics before being launched into the jet era. For the USA, I would personally recommend purchasing the P-38K, P-47M, Spitfire LF Mark 9C, or the Focke Wolf 190A8, and Talisman either the F-80A, F-84G, or F-3D. For Germany, I recommend purchasing the Focke Wolf 190D13, Dornier 335B2 or Tempest 5, and Talismaning the MiG-15 BIS or G-91R3. For the USSR, I recommend the LA-11 if you can get it, or the Focke Wolf 190D, and Talisman the SU-9, MiG-9 Late or MiG-15, or purchase a solid low-tier low premium such as a Tier 3, P-63A5, P-47D27, or the ITP M1 from the marketplace if it is under $20, and then when you are ready to reach rank 5, purchase the SU-11, 
Sadly, the USSR lacks great rank 4 premiums at this time. For Great Britain, I recommend purchasing the Wyvern or Plagueis Spitfire or the Spitmark 14C and talismaning the Meteor Mark III, the Sea Meteor Mark III or the Swift F7. For Japan, I recommend purchasing the J2M4 or J2M5 or the A6M5 Co and talismaning the Kika and maybe the F86F30. For China, I recommend purchasing the A6M2 or Ki-84 Co and talismaning the MiG-9 Late, F84G, J2 or F86F30 or buy the F5 when you get to tier 5. Alternatively, sacrifice your firstborn son to the CCP for enough GE to unlock the whole tech tree. For Italy, I recommend purchasing the BF109 G2 or G55S if you can get it and Talisman the Vampire FB52A, G91 Pre or F84G. For France, I recommend either purchasing the SO8000 Narval and Talismaning the Oregon, F84G or Mistair 2C or purchasing the GAC3 or P47D, Talismaning the Bearcat and then Talismaning the aforementioned Jets. For Sweden, I recommend purchasing the BF109 G6 and talismaning the J21RA, A21RB, or J28B. If you have reached jets before, I would then recommend other purchases of rank 5 and 6 premiums, as you've got more than enough of an understanding of the game. Excellent premiums at rank 5 and 6 include the F89B, with good guns and decent handling, the F5C being extremely straightforward to fly, both German and Italian G91R4s with good missiles and maneuverability, the SU-11 with excellent engine power and guns, the MiG-17AS with good handling and R3S missiles, the Hunter FGA-9 with excellent engine power and AIM-9Es, the F-86F-40 with great handling and AIM-9Bs, the Shenyang F-5 with an afterburner and R3Ss, the A-5C with Mantra Magics at 10.0, the J35A with excellent low speed handling and 9Bs, and of course the J29D with de deadly 30mm cannons and great energy retention. Now note, the MiG-21 SPSK has not been fully released as of the making of this video, but from limited dev server testing does appear to be somewhat viable. Do consider this with a grain of salt, but it could potentially be quite viable at this time. There are, these are all planes that I believe are the most consistent and therefore the best at grinding. Others may be better in isolated circumstances, but from experience and testing, these will likely garner the best results. Aside from grinding, some premiums can be bought to simply enjoy the game. In this list, I would also like to include some tanks as I play these from time to time for a little bit of fun. These planes and tanks are my preference for chilling out and having a laugh. The XP-55 with excellent climb rate and handling, the XP-50 with an insanely high climb rate, the Calliope with some overhead rockets, the Broomba with its insane HE round, the Heinkel 112B1 U2 and B2 U2 with good guns and a decent turn rate, the Sea Vixen with 4 red tops, the Harrier GR1 with 4 SRAMs, the Ki-44-2 Odsu with 20 rounds of 40mm cannons, the G55S with excellent performance and guns, the B1 Tur with insane armor for its BR, the Chiha Shotgun for extreme derp at 1.7, the Centurion AVRE for extreme derp at 7.0, and the German T34 to farm everybody's tears. These are all vehicles that I've found to be relaxing, enjoyable, and overall quite pleasant in my playtime. If you're looking for something to wind down or not take things too seriously, these vehicles should do the trick. Our next category is close air support. It's more than understandable that some players want a neat premium to help revenge bomb <coughs> assist ground units in mixed battles. While most of the time regular tree vehicles will be better overall, there are some viable premiums for CAS. Personally, I recommend the BTD-1 with two 1000 pound bombs and 20mm cannons, the A2D-1 with an insane bomb load, the F5C with four bullpups and good bomb options. The BF 110C6 with a 30mm MK101, the Heinkel 219A7 with two MK103s, the infamous DO335B2 with insane armament options, and both G91R4s with four Nords. For Germany, the JU288 is a decent cast plane, but personally, I prefer the DO217s with the 4,000 pound bomb drops. 
Continuing on, we have the Hampton TB Mark I with 4,000 pounds of bombs at 1.7. The Russian P-40 with two bomb drops and 650 cals. The P-63A with the same number of drops as the Stalin Bolt but with better maneuverability. The Stalin Bolt is also competent as well, but I personally prefer the P-63s. Note that there is a premium TU-2 that exists and very rarely goes on sale at around 4.0 with excellent bombs. This might make a very good cast plane as the TU-2S is fantastic even at 5.7. Also note that the TU-1 appears to be promising, although I cannot directly recommend it as I haven't played it. It appears to be similar to the Tismar, which is an excellent cast plane, albeit currently way overpriced. Based on my experience with the SU-7B and SU-7BKL, I can recommend the SU-7BKM for CAS specifically, based on its 6 S24 rockets and its ballistic computer. Anyway, continuing again, we have the Wyvern S4 with excellent speed and a wide variety of weaponry. The Attacker FB2 with 12 RP3s, the Meteor F Mark 8 Reaper with insane ordnance options, and the Sea Vixen which you can kind of use for CAS, but if you do, you're a bit of a heathen. The IAR-81 with good bombs and rockets. The French F-84F with four 1,000 pound bombs. And in the Swedish tech tree, the Saab 105-0E with two RB-5As. These planes are your best bet for CAS as they can reliably deliver decent payloads without breaking a sweat. If you play at top tier or ground RB that has a presence of helicopters, you could purchase a premium heli, but much like your first jet, your first helicopter will be an extremely steep learning curve. I would personally play a couple of the basic helis first, such as the Alouettes, to gain experience there before spending a lot more on P10 or KA50. If you are looking for a mid-tier as such heli in the French tree, do not buy the Romanian Alouette 3. Just please don't waste your money on that thing. Finally, we are going to have a look at premiums that I believe are the best value for money. These premiums will either be the most useful or most enjoyable at the most reasonable price. At the top of the list, we have the Japanese Corsair being an excellent SL grinder. The A7M1 follows closely, being insanely powerful overall. The F5C of course, for its use and versatility. The SU11 for its grinding potential. The Brimbar for the sheer amount of derp. The DOE335B2 for its cast potential the G91R4 for its versatility and performance, the XP50 for its crazy performance, the XP38G and P38K for their climb rate and guns, the XP55 for being overall batshit crazy, the Centurion AVRE for maximum besh derp, and lastly, the Sea Vixen for that classic British monstrosity. Personally, I quite like the premium P51Ds as well, although they tend to perform poorly if they are on a team that falls apart quite quickly. So ladies and gents, there you have it. These are the premiums that I can personally recommend based on what I've played. I apologize for not including many tanks, but it would be disingenuous for me to recommend tanks that I don't play. Of course, let me know in the comments if there's a premium that you guys recommend. Perhaps it's something totally different. Perhaps you love the low tier planes, Perhaps you love the Russian hover sausages, even though I absolutely despise those things. Let me know, of course, down in the comments below. Commenting helps the algorithm. Algorithm become very happy. Spitflyer become very happy. Of course, if you're planning on purchasing a premium, you can get a 3% discount, my decal in game and supporting the channel by checking out the link in the description. Thank you all for watching and thank you for supporting the channel. Take care and I'll catch you next time.